another one of the articles that I saw is from the Environmental News Service, their Newswire, and they speak to the actual research that links childhood exposure to um, violent crimes in adults. And this particular study is out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and this was just published the 28th of this month. It speaks to the high levels of lead in, blood, in the blood of fetuses and young children. Um, that they're now linking for the first time to higher rates of criminal arrest in adulthood. Uh, that they're just now, it's just brand new research. Based on the long-term data from childhood lead studies in Cincinnati, Kim Dietrich, PhD, and his team at the University of Cincinnati found the first evidence of the direct link, not just... Um, theory, I guess, like they'd had before, but the actual evidence. Previous studies either relied, well, as it says here, on indirect measures of exposure and, um, and also failed to follow subjects into childhood, into failed to follow the subjects into adult, adulthood to examine the relationships between lead exposures and criminal activities in young adults. We have monitored this specific segment of children who were exposed to lead both in the womb and as young children for nearly 30 years, he says. We have complete records of neurological, behavioral, and developmental patterns to draw a clear association between early life exposure to lead and adult criminal criminal activity. This is so deep, it makes you wonder um, what else is out there in our, what else is going on out there. We know there's cancer pockets because of the refineries that are usually put in communities of color in uh, the Bay Area in the city of Emeryville which used to be mostly community poor, lower income, community of color. Now there's more money that has come into it. It's really built up. It used to be all an industrial park, actually. But now there's big money in there, and they just built a Cineplex and a whole avenue of from Victoria's Secrets to Baby Gap. And one of the things that they found while they were building all of these new businesses is that because of the Stanley Williams paint factory that used to be there uh, I guess up until maybe the 50s and all the toxins that they just dumped into the ground they're finding that it was actually a Ohlone Indian shell mound and burial ground, ground burial ground, but the bones in the burial grounds are rubbery. They can actually bend them because of all the chemicals. And who knows how many generations. Well, you know, a whole generation of kids grew up. Poor kids, poor urban kids grew up in that area. I used to work in that area, and I know there was a rendering plant there at one time also. It was just so gross during lunchtime. You kind of start to get this whiff first of maybe, uh, kind of barbecue and then pork and then it would take off in a whole nother direction and you knew that they were the animal control center had just dropped off a, another load of animals to be rendered um, so heaven knows what those children were exposed to back there but as far as lead children can be exposed from eating lead based paint chips or playing in contaminated soil um, lead can damage the nervous system, the kidneys, and the reproductive system. Aggressive or violent behavior patterns often emerge early and continue throughout life, Dietrich, Dietrich says. Identifying the risk factors may place, that may place youth on the early path. Excuse me. Identifying the risk factor, risk factor identifying the risk factors that may place youth on an early trajectory towards a life of crime and violence should be a public health priority a 
hello should have been a public health priority a long time ago. Like, uh, poverty is one of the major facts. And not to say that all people are poor are going to end up, all children raised poor end up um, violent or, you know, doing criminal acts. There's a, a, a lot of love also in the poor areas, a lot of love in families that are intact and are making sure that their children grow up by with the values that have them going on completing high school and going on to college. We've got to remember that, that this is not a automatic, um, this is not automatic. Although, sure, neurological damage is neurological damage. Um, so this, I don't know, this was, this was all very interesting and I hadn't heard anything, I don't know if anybody, any of you have, I'd like to hear if anyone else has heard anything about this and if anybody has any thoughts